Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, before we get into my February Project Use It Up update, I wanted to update you all on what's going on in my life and I wanted to do it on a short video because, um, yeah, um, I, if you haven't seen my Bath and Body Works Spring Round 2 video, I was asking you all for help because of the situation with my, my dad. And I want to thank you all for the help uh, that the, you provided in the comments section. I think it was some confusion because I don't know if I was really clear. Um, the situation, you know, it, it was what it, it is and was what it, I can't even, the situation is what it is when it comes to the job. Now, I think some of you all thought I needed something immediately. And this was talking about, you know, I'm going to finish my obligation I have for this year, but I just didn't know what, where life it's going to take me after I finish my obligations. And I wanted suggestions from you all because I don't know. So I wanted to say thank you for that. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it above. Check it out. But since I've posted that video, um, my father has passed away. And um, I just wanted to let you all know because um, of your sweet comments you left me and um I just wanted to update you all on that so uh let me and 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 again to say thank you so let me compose myself and um then we will continue this video and I wanted to say um because some people may be like well girl why are you still trying to film and and post videos well after you all you all can tell from from talking to me and i i am a private person i i just am because i feel like everybody's going through something so why i'm not gonna put my problems off on you but i just wanted to you know, you have this platform, you build relationships, and I like to share what I feel is appropriate dealing, you know, concerning my life. And um, I had so many comments saying that they appreciate me filming, that, you know, sharing some of what they're going through and, and telling me that my videos is their escape. It, it what helps them, you know, make it through. So everyone is going through something. Everyone is going through something, no matter who you are. So I, t I take that into consideration. And also, this is my little escape, like I've told you all, for me to turn off my brain, to talk about, um, you know, beauty and fragrance and things that are not serious. Um, so... I wanted to share that because my energy is not the same. I can tell it as I'm talking to you all. I can tell it in my voice. I, and I, But I want to continue to keep going when I can. And that's what I'm going to do because it's nice to have some... I, like I've told y'all before, I just don't want to disappear. I never just want to disappear. And I, I try to at least... When I'm going through stuff in life, try to at least upload once a week. And I, my crazy behind, I thought I had done that when I had, you know, a COVID. Because I don't know if you can still say it on YouTube. But I had, it, I, <laughs> I posted one video and then I, I, I don't know if I hallucinated <laughs> and I had another video up. 
but it had been two weeks and that's the longest I'd, I'd ever been. So, um, when I can, as I can, if I feel up to it, I'm going to continue to do it because like I said, if this is someone's escape, we're helping each other. We're helping each other. And I want to, you know, um, still do that on, on my channel. But I, I just want to let y'all know if my energy is not the same, I want to let you know why. And, um, and I'm only saying it in, in this video. So if you, and you know, it takes time to get back to yourself or I, I don't know, but that's the explanation is going to be in one video because I, I can't, I can't keep saying it. So, um, just bear with me with my energy and we'll, we will continue to help each other. So before I tell you about what I used up and all that, let's start with what's on my lips. I have on the NYX 809 Mahogany Lip Pencil along with the Summer Fridays Lip Oil in Soft Mauve. And like I said, I hope I got this close enough. Because y'all, I had to get me a camera. I'm still filming on my phone and I don't see that it doesn't focus uh, until I'm editing. But these products will be tagged below if you're interested in them. So you all, I think this may be the first or possibly the second time I'm able to say I finished all my products for my February project Use It Up. And I am rather proud of myself because I can't remember if I ever did that before. Like I said, I feel like it may have been one other time, but usually I put an exorbitant amount of products in and I never finished them. But because I was sick most of this, most of February and other things that I was not using a lot of this. So I put 10 products in here and lo and behold, I finished all 10 of them and I'm getting ready to tell you my thoughts about them now. So I finished up the Pinkberry Clouds Shower Gel. I had this in there because it wasn't that much left. This is one of my favorite shower gels. Oh my goodness, from Bath and Body Works. I mean, it smells so good in the shower. This has notes of strawberry sponge sugar, marshmallow fluff, and fresh air. This new formulation that Bath and Body Works, I don't, I think they reformulated it because they changed it from shower gel to body wash. And then so many people, I've read some comments that they, they mentioned the differences that they've seen. I can't remember if I've used one of them that has, that, that's the new formulation. So I'm, I'm picky with getting Bath and Body Works body shower gels anyway now because I have so many. And these aren't exactly quick to use up, but this is one, if I smelled it again and saw it again, cause this is discontinued, I would snatch this up in a heartbeat in the shower gel because it is divine in the shower. Absolutely love it, would definitely repurchase it. Pink Berry Clouds. Okay, I also finished up the Sweetheart Cherry Fragrance Mist from Bath and Body Works. Love this fragrance mist, but if you all can see, I could not get that that little drop out. Usually, I could empty this all the way out, but the way the spout is in there, I couldn't position the liquid to where the spout could reach all the liquid. And some people say that they can untwist these and get these off. I can't. Now, I admit, I don't have good upper body strength, but tell me how y'all get those off. Because I have twisted and twisted. I, they don't budge when I do it. So let me know. But I already have my bottles of this. I thought about getting another mini size of this. Because it to me it smells better than a big bottle. But I thoroughly enjoy this um, fragrance mist. Absolutely love it. Already have two or three full size bottles. Good, good. I also finished up the Body Shop Cherries and Cheer. Um shower gel and body butter love the body butter the scent because the formulation to me is average but the scent absolutely love it body wash i don't feel like i have to have a cherry scent but 
if the only way to get this because this came out during the holiday season i don't know if i can still get this but i would want to repurchase the body butter for sure because to me it smells kind of like cherry bubble gum it's super super sweet cherry i really enjoyed it would repurchase the body butter and like I said, if the only way to get it is a set, the next time I can find it, I would just repurchase it because it's that good to me. I also finished the Nude Sugar Refined Sugar Body Mist from, this is Tony Braxton's line. It was sold at Ulta. I was checking because I noticed this was getting really low and I did not see it anymore. So I don't know where you can get this now. It's To me, it's a grown up, very sweet, uh honeyed vanilla musky scent i really enjoyed it but i'm not gonna hunt it down it's just not worth it you all to me right now in my life with how much stuff i have in my collection i'm not hunting down much of anything anymore i'm just not so if, if this is gone i'm glad i got to experience it and it is what it is I also finished this Kapari Exfoliating Crush Body Scrub. Thoroughly enjoy this body scrub. To me, it's one of the few um, body scrubs that's worth the uh, exorbitant price that they charge for, you know, higher end body care. But to me, it's worth it. Left my skin feeling really good. It smelled really good. So I would repurchase this again. I also finished this set of little black party dress from bath and body works this has notes of frosted nectarine black peony and white patchouli this smells good and i did enjoy it but i didn't fall in love with it and i had bought this is when i was starting my channel and i was watching everybody and people say you need to get two of these three of these and i was just following everybody and i bought two uh two sets of this and then i said i don't need two sets of this so i gave it to my friend because this is a kind of like heavy, perfumey, floral, with a little citrus scent. But it's like cold weather, evening, nighttime type of scent. And where I live, it's not much cold weather. I'm, I really don't, I'm not out all the time. Um, I, I am typically a homebody. Um, so this is one I would not repurchase. Was it good? Yes. Does it smell of high quality? Yes. If, if they brought it back, because this is one they may bring back for semi-annual sales. You never know. Because at one point, that's where I was finding it for a few years. And if they chose to bring it back, I would say check it out. Especially if you love Into the Night from Bath and Body Works. But for me, I feel like this is one and done and I'm good. At least at this time in my life. Like, let's say at the summer semi-annual sale, if I saw that, I would not be tempted to repurchase it at all. I also finished up a set of Pure Wonder from Bath & Body Works. I finished up the cream and the uh, fragrance mist. This has notes of ice rosé, star jasmine, and warm white amber. I have two or three bottles of this like three bottles is my limit but you know how sometimes you be shopping at semi-annual sale and then you like you go into the different stores and you're like did i get this how many did i get so i either have two left in my two remaining in my collection or three of the myths so i'm good this is a very pretty perfumey um like sparkling um floral sweet amber scent it's very pretty it's a compliment getter um i've gifted this people love it so you can't go wrong with pure wonder and it's not discontinued you can actually get this at the on the bath and body works website still different packaging but same scent okay so the last four items we're going to talk about are the fragrances i finished up this is the Black Opium um, Over Red by YSL. Now, I remember telling you all in my review video, if you haven't seen my review of this fragrance, I will link it above, check it out, that I was like, I don't know if I want a full bottle because I still prefer Le Parfum. And I told you at the end, once I use this up, I would know for sure. Well... 
this is what I, conclusion I came to, which is kind of the other conclusion of the next fragrance I'm going to talk about. I really enjoyed this. And I do feel like you could still mix the original Black Opium with, with some cherry and get this scent. But let's say if I actually use up the original Black Opium I have, I can see myself possibly purchasing a one ounce of this. Not a huge bottle, but just a one ounce. And that is a slim possibility. It would just depend. Because I did enjoy this. But, and the way I would layer it, I made the cherry uh, stay longer and pop more in the fragrance. So that's the reason why I'm like, I may get a one ounce. I did enjoy it that much. But I still prefer prefer Le Parfum. Same with this one. This is Prada Paradox Intense. I finished this one. And same thing. Um, I was like, I prefer the original. And I feel I still do. But I can see myself getting a one ounce of this to have in the colder weather. I, I feel like this performs better, lasts longer, pops more in the cooler weather. So I can see myself getting a one ounce of this possibly. But y'all, it's it's taking it's it's going to take a lot for me to get full size bottles of anything. I'm gonna have to be missing it, craving it, or the price, a sale's gonna have to be amazing. It's gonna be something I've been wanting forever because these perfume prices are just too much. They're just too much. And I have a plethora of perfumes that I don't feel the need nor even really have the desire anymore to let me to, to do this let me get all the fragrances and I'll get the travel size to uh try them out tell you all about them but the days of going get all these these full-size perfume bottles for everything those days are gone for me uh, for right now they, they really are I also finished up the Lieb Le Parfum from YSL I already have a full-size bottle of this um so I just wanted to use a travel spray up. I love this. This is a this is just a honeyed uh, version of the original leave, a little sweeter. I mean, I absolutely love it. And I'm glad I already have a full bottle and don't have to worry about getting another one. I also finished the Valentino Donna Born in Roma Intense. And let me let me make sure y'all know. I finished it up. And it feels like I've, did I show this before? Yeah, I don't know. But so we're going to keep it in here. Um, I have uh, two full bottles of this because I bought the travel, I bought the uh, gift set from Nordstrom during their anniversary sale. So I have the 3.4 ounce bottle of this. I have the one ounce bottle of this. So I'm set. I am so set with Valentino Donna Born in Roma. It is more intense to me. It's, it's, it's more perfumey. Um, it, 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 you and it, it's more intense to me on the jasmine. It's more of an intoxicating floral. Still, you get the vanilla, but it is, it is more, I would say, mature smelling than the original Born in Roma. But I do like it. It's a compliment getter. Thoroughly enjoy using it and glad... I don't have to worry about getting another bottle. Okay, so like I said, I finished all the products I put in my February project, Use It Up. So I said, well, let's stick with that same formula. I only chose 10 items for uh, the month of March also, but I do have a full-size perfume that I hope I can finish. Even though the weather here is going towards hot, we had two cold days and then it's supposed to be warm and, and hot again, but I'm gonna try it, y'all. And that is Black Opium by YSL. I've been trying to use this forever. And I'm determined to, I wanna, I wanna use this up in March. I think March doesn't have 31 days. So we are gonna go for it. This is the full size bottle of perfume I'm putting in my March project, Use It Up. I'm also putting two travel sprays. This is Perfect by Marc Jacobs. This is one I heard so many people compare to Poppy from Bath and Body Works, and I just don't get it. 
but it does have almond in here and I have an almond body care set. So I said, I'm going to throw this in here and really see if I fall in love with this because when I tried it before, I didn't love it. But sometimes once you're wearing things every single day, you're using it up. That's when I really know for things I'm uncertain about, like how I feel about it. So I can't wait to try this. I'm actually really excited. And the last fragrance I have in here, y'all, I can't remember the name of this. Does it have it on here? On the sticker? Yeah, I don't think it does. It's an alien flanker. I think it's the intense one. I think it's alien goddess intense or it's alien goddess the floral one. It's because they those two kind of smell very similar to me. And I just cannot remember which one this is, but I decided to try to go ahead and use this up because I have the uh, full size of Alien Goddess and I just don't feel like I need, I, I just want to use this up because I like it, um, but I don't feel like I'm getting ready to go buy any other flankers for Alien Goddess until you know I use the, the one I have up. So I just want to go ahead and use this travel spray up. So those were all the perfumes. Now I have one like solo mist in here and this is Finery Midnight Cafe. You see where it is. This is Finery's dupe of black opium. So I was thinking I could layer these two together. So hopefully that will be used up. I also have in here um, Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath and Body Works. This has notes of fresh vanilla beans, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, and snow kiss musk. Now, I'm wearing this today. So many people <laughs> I watch, they say this is a year-round fragrance for them. It is not for me. This is winter for me. I'm just going to see if I can come up with ways to enjoy it in March. Cause you know, technically I don't think spring starts until the 21st or 22nd of March. So that's why I was like, let me do this last push for these fragrances that I don't feel maybe are too, too heavy. That maybe that within my grand project, use it up for fall and winter, I can finish before winter is officially over. So this set is in the project, use it up. And I decided to go ahead and put Almond Blossom. This has notes of sweet almond oil, vanilla orchid, and cashmere musk. I put this in here because it's cream. It's from 2020. And y'all know, it, it's time. I mean, it's turned. I don't even know if I'll be able to just use this as a body cream or an in-shower moisturizer. I have to look at the consistency again and see how it feels on my skin but yeah so i feel like this would be a good scent for march because it's not too heavy and um i feel like i can handle it i can handle this even if it's even if it's a warm day so i put this in the project use it up and last i have in here snowflakes and cashmere and again because this body cream is from 2020 so i don't even know if this is one i'll be able to use in my body or i have to use it as an in shower moisturizer but this has notes of vanilla cashmere cream caramel woods and frosted clementine and again this is one that i don't feel is overwhelming and i feel like i could get finished with it in the month of march and it wouldn't irritate me or overwhelm me if it if it's warm outside. So y'all, we're gonna see how I do for the March project. Use it up in well in March uh, to see if I can finish all ten products again like I did for February. So if you all enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and tell me. You know, how are you doing using up your products in 2024? Tell me what products you may want to use up in March. I would love to know. And please don't forget to share this video with everyone because we're still trying to keep it growing in, well, 2024. <laughs> and please don't forget to turn on your notification bells. So you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.